hopefully will be a little bit entertaining for us. And I do emphasize hopefully. Okay, just have a seat there for me, please. So if there is no room there, we can sit on that step there, I'm sure. Sit at the steps, yeah? Okay. Come and sit on the steps. Oh, wow, this is great, thank you. Oh, this is good, isn't it? They deserve to be in the front, don't they? <laughs> okay. So today we're going to talk about salt. Okay? Uh, this passage that... The passage that we just read is talking about salt and then it also talks about light. But we're going to just focus on salt today. Um, I think verse 13, so I'm going to read it again, okay? It says, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Right, so I have water here, just from the tap, no magic, brothers and sisters, no magic at all. I have just water here, and I have salt. Now, with salt, we're going to look at three different things. Can someone tell me, what do we use salt for? Cooking. Very good. Anything else? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. <laughs> A lot of it, I like that. Ruben? What do we use salt for? Sorry? <laughs> I didn't hear that. Put it in food. That's right. Now, have any of you ever had a bowl of rice that had no salt whatsoever? Yes. How nice does it taste? It doesn't taste bad as well. But that is catch up with salt. So if you if you actually have rice without salt, it pretty much tastes like cardboard. It just has no taste at all. <laughs> Here we go in agreement. So you think <laughs> So with other words what we're saying then salt changes things, doesn't it? So if you if you have a meal and you would have no salt on it, you would not eat the whole thing. But if you just put salt on it, it will change the taste. And scripture is telling us one of the uses of the salt is, as we just said, put it in the meal. It changes things. And the word of the Lord says that the presence of God, God Himself, changes things, brothers and sisters. We live in a world that does not have hope. We live in a world that Scripture says is in darkness. But just by bringing the presence of God, bringing the light of the Lord, it brings hope into the lives of people. It adds taste, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to ask another question. What do you think the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, would have used salt for? Sorry? Keep on their armor. Okay. Okay. 
Now, we have to remember that in those days, they did not have fridges. So if they did not have fridges, how do you think they kept the food? Yes, that too. Yes, that's right. So they would have put salt, and some of our mothers perhaps will know this, conserve things, don't we? We conserve things, they last very long. But also, do you know what? Salt, they say, used to be a very precious thing. They would even buy things with salt. Soldiers would give portions of salt to... So, would, would buy salt, would give in other things. you know why? Because salt also is like medicine. Do not put salt in your wound. Never put salt in your wound. Because we have creams and we have all sorts of things. But in those days, salt actually kept their wounds clean. Have you ever been in the sea where you had a cut? Yeah, it stinks like Ah, oh, it stinks quite badly, doesn't it? But you see, salt has a purpose of healing. Salt has a purpose of cleansing. And what does the Word of the Lord tell us? Tells us that through what we just celebrated in communion, through the sacrifice of Christ, we have been healed. Amen? And we have been cleansed from our sin. So that is another use of the soul that Jesus tries to bring an example to us. And the third point, he says, you are the salt of the earth. Before we explain that, let's go to our fun experiment here. As I said, I've got just water here and I have salt. Now this is just an egg. I bought it in Sainsbury's. Nothing special. Um, that's just pure water. And if it doesn't have salt, it doesn't have any influence of God. So what do you think happens if I just put this egg, which represents our life? It sinks, doesn't it? And brothers and sisters, that's how our life is. If we do not have the help of the Lord, if we do not have the influence of God in our life, if the world does not have any influence of God, is what happens to us, our life sinks. Sinks in the problems, sinks in the difficulty of life, and we just end up in the bottom. But yet, what did the Bible just tell us? The Bible tells us you are the salt of the earth. So we want to add salt here. Okay? Tell me when. Now that's just a little bit, just make sure it works. <laughs> right. So I'm going to talk now. I, I will listen to you. Now, what do you think is happening to the salt? Uh, Can you see it stuck in the bottom? At the moment, is it doing anything? Uh, it's, making the water it's just stuck there. And, friends, you see, it says there that if the salt loses its taste. Now, some of us may want to be the salt of the earth. We say we are the salt of the earth, but if we have no action, if our life has no movement for the Lord, if we do nothing for the Lord, if we only have empty words, we are a salt which just sits there and actually does nothing. Our life means nothing. And that salt is going to lose its taste very soon. And what good is that? It's good to throw it away. But if we are involved for the Lord, if we are good boys and girls, if we want to read the scripture, if we want to come and learn about God, if we want to listen to our 
moms and dads, and that's very important, by the way, the most important thing. If we want to be good, then guess what? Can you see the salt? Not really. It's gone. It's all melted and is part of the water. Even if we want to separate the salt from the water, you think we can? We can't. And this is the beauty of it, brothers and sisters, because Bible tells us that when we accept Jesus into our life, He becomes our life. He has us in the palm of His hand, and nothing can separate us. We are part of God's life. And the world will be a better place when we are the soul that share the good news. And guess what happens now? What do you think we have when we put that tag in? Gonna float Let's hope so. Not the <laughs> <laughs> It is floating. Look. It is floating. And this is what happens when we are with the Lord. We are not drowning, Isaac. We are not drowning. There is a passage in the Bible that says, we will be like flying the eagle's wings. We will be aided and helped by God. And every time when we have the opportunity to do that thing, we will not do that. Because we remember God is with us. Amen? Amen. And this is what scripture says. We are the salt of the earth. We are very special in the eyes of the Lord. We have the authority, if we go and pray for people, to actually be that soul and bring cleansiness and bring healing to their lives. If we go and talk to people about the good news, it is an opportunity to help them with their problems because God is present. And people will see through our life that things are changing because we have changed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. That's, that's finished. And I will make sure I get the eggs out and cook them for lunch. <laughs> no. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. my father's house. <laughs>